How we doing? Chris Mack here from Chris Mack Fitness. I'm going to give you a quick video on energy management, okay? So for a minute, let's forget about time management and think about energy management because essentially energy management is way more important than time management. If you cannot manage your energy appropriately, it doesn't matter how much time you have on your hands, you're not going to be able to use that time effectively. Okay, so we all have the same 24 hours in a day. We've all heard that saying, haven't we? But it doesn't matter. If I've got way more energy than you, I'm going to be able to get way more done than you are in 24 hours. So it's a case of understanding how energy works and how to put the appropriate amounts of energy into the right places at the right time, okay? So there are some things to think about here fundamentally and really I'll break it down into three steps, okay? So firstly, you've got to think about generating energy in the first place, okay? Generating energy. How do we generate energy? The primal way to generate energy is through a life purpose, okay? So if you have no life purpose, if you have no something that's bigger than yourself, okay? That could be, uh, for example, for me, is to help people live a healthy, happy life, okay? It's to help people achieve their potential, whether that's athletic potential or their life potential, whatever they want to do through using systems such as energy management, okay? For some people, it might be to raise their family, okay? That's another life purpose that is very fundamental for many people. If they have a child, then that is that becomes their life purpose for most people if they've got their priorities right, okay? Um, you can have more than one life purpose, you can have several life purposes, okay? Th in some ways, maybe the more the better. If you have no life purpose, that's where you're gonna probably start struggling with things like depression, okay? So if you have no purpose, if you have no vision, you have nothing to lift you up, you're gonna be depressed. Okay, you're going to be pressed down into the ground. So it's important to have life purpose, okay? That's going to generate energy in the first place. You get up in the morning, okay, you're refreshed and you think about what your purpose is and then that's going to drive you and give you the energy you need to go about your day, okay? Now the second step is energy expenditure. This is the key part of energy management now, okay? What are you expending your energy on. So you've generated that energy for your life purpose. Let's take it back a step here. How do you find out your life purpose, okay? If you're struggling right now. What is your life purpose? What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is to be alive, but you may need to figure out what your life purpose is, okay? A few ways to do this is go and ask some of your family and friends. What What is it that I am always going on about all the time? What is it that I, and this, you may not like what you hear, to be honest, but as you start to figure these things out, asking people, asking yourself, journaling, have a vision board like I do over here, and start to write things down on there, brainstorming, what can you talk about all day that may bore everybody else, but gets you fired up and excited? You know, for me, it's health and fitness. It really gets me fired up and excited, okay, and nutrition and all these things. So find out what that is for you, and then... Find a way to tie that into your life. And that is your life purpose and how you tie that into your life, okay? Now, so going back to energy expenditure, how are you going to expend that energy? You want to be expending it towards your life purpose. Maybe not at all times. It may not be possible to do it at all times, but as much as possible. So anything that is not going in that direction, you want to bend the other stuff off, okay? If you've got some crappy job that you don't like, you want to try and bend that off. If you've got some, okay, you may have some commitments that you that you just don't want, find ways to get rid of those things. Find Get everything else out of the way so you can focus on your purpose and building the things that are driving you forward and generating that energy, okay? So when you're expending your energy throughout the day, you need to be thinking about where it's going. Okay, what, what am I doing with that energy? Is it being used to, is it being put to good use or is it being wasted, okay? You must have the appropriate rest, the appropriate nutrition, the appropriate stress management, okay? Reducing levels of stress, especially if you're a high-performing athlete or if you're a hard-working businessman or businesswoman and make sure you really are very careful how you're spending that energy. At the end of the video, I will give you some, some surefire tips on how to 
generate energy and how to save energy and reduce decision making fatigue as well okay so stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll uh, hear all about that okay energy regeneration step three you must be able to regenerate that energy so you've generated it you're expending it in the right places but you are depleting your energy stores you must then regenerate them okay so this is quite obvious but you need to be able to you need to rest that is a key way to regenerate that energy okay you need to make sure you are not focused too much on the grind 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 mentality all the time and actually taking time for yourself taking time to go within to meditate to breathe to sleep to rest to have a bath to read to whatever it is all these things you need to allow yourself to regenerate and sometimes if you're like a high performing athlete you may go through a training period okay and you've got some big races planned and you do the big races and after that you may need to just back right off and take time off regenerate same with business if you're working really hard all the time working hard on a project or some kind of big deadline once you get there you must be able to take that time to simmer down and regenerate that energy okay so let me give you some surefire ways to harness energy okay so you can harness energy through breath work okay the Wim Hof method different types of uh, tumo breathing uh, the breath of fire there's all different ways to do this okay really great stuff cold showers and ice baths that is going to get you fired up generate some energy good quality sleep uh, affirmations about your life purpose okay affirmations so talking about waking up in the morning after your quality sleep jumping out of the ice bath and doing some breath work and then going right I want to do this this is who I want to help today this is what I'm grateful for this is what I'm going to do this is the plan let's go and that's going to affirm to you what your life purpose is again keep it in your mind at all times and fire you forward okay that's going to harness that energy there's other things you can do like martial arts and tai chi they are powerful forces which can generate energy as well okay bioenergetics all really good stuff good quality nutrition good quality high vibrant um wild foods okay lots of colors lots of plants get the stuff in you that's going to really fire you up and get you energized okay some ways to reduce decision making fatigue and to save you energy is to set yourself up some good routines morning routines daily routines evening routines Things that stop you so much from having to, to think about, oh, what should I be doing now? What should I be doing here? Okay, hopefully many healthy habits. You can get a lot of healthy things done in the morning when you first wake up. And a nice routine. Once you ingrain those habits, ingrain that routine day after day after day, it becomes second nature. You don't have to think about it anymore. So you're not wasting energy there. You're not getting decision-making fatigue. Okay, planning, planning your planning your days, planning your weeks, planning your training, okay, planning ahead, you can't plan for everything, there are going to be uh, unforeseen circumstances will come into your life, but by planning we can reduce the chances of unexpected events, we can reduce the likelihood of things going terribly wrong, okay, regular breaks from work, regular breaks from training, rest and recreation, reading, taking naps if you need to, um, the great thing to do is in the, in the afternoon is, is to close your eyes and just rest or you know do some yoga nidra or read a book um yoga nidra check it out on youtube a really great way to get some some good quality uh regeneration into the body um set yourself up some rules okay like this sounds this sounds like a bit of a silly one but set yourself some rules like not gossiping about things okay not um not bitching about people or you know, talking to people behind their backs, that is very energy draining. Um, what else? Wasting your time talking to people, dealing with things that you shouldn't be dealing with, things that aren't, aren't yours. Saying no, learning to say no to people. You don't want to do something if you don't have to do it, okay? Especially if it's not in line with your life purpose, okay? Uh, not checking your phone all day, okay? Making sure you're not looking at your phone all day long and... Uh, scrolling social media and checking messages all the time, replying to messages, that is a time and energy drain. That's a complete drain of your energy. Social media is is 
drawing you in. Watch the social the social dilemma, I think it's called on Netflix. It's just drawing you in. Okay, be very careful uh, with who you follow on social media. Make sure it's people that are pulling you forward and lifting you up and helping you with health, wealth, happiness, and you know, having a clarity of vision. Okay, going back to the life purpose, making sure that vision is clear in your mind as to what you want to achieve. Okay, whether it's to make people healthy and happy, whether it's to raise a family and, you know, whether it's to, to grow your own organic farm and deliver food to the to all the neighbours in the area. All these things, there's so many things. We all have something we can all do, okay, to make the world a better place. Let's all, let's all do this, okay. Through energy management, we can, we can do this. We can find our vision and we can push forward, okay. So there you go. Step one, generate your energy. Step two, expend your energy wisely. Step three, regenerate your energy. Okay, regenerate it. Make sure you're getting the appropriate rest. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. What are your favorite ways to, to use your energy wisely? In fact, what's holding you back right now? How are you wasting energy right now? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. More videos like this coming up, as well as all things health and fitness. For now, I'll see you all in the next video. Use that energy wisely, folks.